If you're not seeing your transactions load into Coinly, stick around and I'll show you how to resolve this. Before we jump in, the information in this video is for educational purposes only and is not tax, financial, or legal advice. Also, the examples I mentioned might not exactly match your situation. So as always, speak to a qualified professional if you're looking for tax advice. If you're seeing zero or very few transactions on a blockchain wallet such as BTC, potentially as I'm showing you in this screenshot, then this usually means you have entered a single public address instead of the XBUB key. This is a very common problem we might see with platforms like Bitcoin, BCH, LTC, Dash, and Doge, and many other coins use something called UTXO, which basically means you get a unique address every time you want to receive a payment. This also means that if you were to enter that single address into Coinly, then Coinly will only pull transactions associated with that, addre that address. So that is usually one or two transactions. And this is obviously not what you want. So in order to import your transactions, you will need to enter your extended public key, also known as the XPUB, into Coinly instead of that single address. Now, if you're interested in learning a lot more about XPUB keys from various wallets like BRD, Ledger, and Jax, I will leave a specific video just about XPUB keys and where to find them on those platforms. For this specific video, we're just trying to resolve this individual problem. So all you would do is you would delete the uh, wallet that you synced with the single use address from Coinly, and then you would add a new Bitcoin wallet and sync using the extended pub. So it will depend on where and you know what wallet you're using. If you're using something like, let's say the trust wallet, go to the trust wallet video where I show you exactly where to find this X and Y pub. And once you've done this, you should see your transactions pour in. Um, if you're having any issues, obviously let me know in the comments below. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.